friends, welcome to another more Mary Ann, and I'm your real estate expert that can help you get the kind of property you need. Today, I want to talk to you about types of property you can invest in in Nigeria. So many clients get to ask me, and I have so so amount. When do you think I can invest? What kind of property can I invest in? I'll give you all the list, and I'll explain a bit on each so that you can get to understand the kind of properties that exist within Nigeria and how to explore it to make a lot of returns on it. But if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time I do a post right here on the Heart to Heart TV. Now, the first one I want to talk about is the high rise building. The reason why I started with this is because we now have a lot of high rise building in Lagos, Patakot, Abuja, and when we talk about high-rise building, we're looking at a building from six stories upward. Now we have the commercial and the residential buildings who are exploring high-rise building these days. Like currently in Via, we have a new one called Eden Heights. It's quite catchy. And trust me, you can get high-rise building like in Lagos and Via, Ikoi, and so many other beautiful places. Now, a lot of corporate companies also explore this because of the infrastructure and the environment where the IRS buildings are located in. So, if you're interested to invest in an IRS building, you know this boils down to your pockets. <laughs> That's the first one. The second one I want to talk about is terrace. Now, the terrace is a bit spacious, it's some kind of um, look alike buildings they are portable a bit i mean a bit spacious not too much and they're like in rows they link one another they have like maybe one or two car park very portable and a lot of people are exploring this these days because it's much more economical to build such you can have like a mini estate that are just in terrace and people will be willing to buy or rent such properties now for the terrace houses they are beautiful and locations you can get this i just want to point out in lagos we have in aja ikota lekki area like the one in aja we have royal garden very very beautiful one and a lot of people are also exploring this to build and make a lot of returns on it now the third one i want to hit here is duplexes now we have duplex that are residential and when you talk about duplex, we're talking about a building that has about three to four floors. And we have triplets, we have fourplex in so many areas. Like in Lagos, we have in Ikoi, we have in, in Aja, we have in VI, we have in Ikeja, we have at Sulere, we have at Yaba, and many other beautiful places that will interest you. Now, that's the third one I want to point out. The fourth one is the bungalow. The bungalow is basically just one story building. It has a rooftop. Sometimes it has just maybe a very comfortable place where you can actually chill, but it's still a bungalow. Always simple. You can build a bungalow on half a plot. You can build a bungalow on quarter plot. You can build a bungalow on a full plot. You can build a bungalow on a three, <laughs> three plot. It all depends on what you have at hand. Now, the fifth one I want to point out today is the mansion. Mansion is a lavish, tasted, built house. It's always for the wealthy because it's almost like 8,000 square meters and people who build mansions, trust me, they have money, I mean, paper. <laughs> so, in mansion, you can get a lot of things. You can get swimming pool, you can get volleyball courts, you can get so many other things right in the mansion. It's just a very standard one. Now, the sixth one I want to point out today is the penthouse. The penthouse, apart from having its roof though, it has some other extra touches. When we talk about penthouse, we're talking about yeah, there is a building and there is a penthouse that is built in a different way but sitting right on top of the main building. And for the penthouse, it's always quite expensive because of the views it gives you. It's always having these very lovely views. And there's one particular building in Kui that they call Orange Place. It has this beautiful penthouse. You can stand there and see so many places and see lovely places, which is well, 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 well important. Now, the second one I want to point out is a container house. Now, for the container house, 
it's not really common in Nigeria, but it's another one where you can invest in and you can actually say yes, a lot of money can come in later, later. Now, these containers are existing containers that are shipped into Nigeria. Sometimes they are built within Nigeria and they are placed on a particular plot of land and they are well structured. And you can use Google to check a lot more about these container houses. Sometimes they come in a very comfortable form. You just put in your AC and you live right in there. There's a way they furnish the interior. You won't even know it's a container except somebody tells somebody else. <laughs> but people in the Western world use this often because you know it's quite affordable and it's you can move it from one location to another. So for me, basically, I think this is a new kind of business. A lot of real estate uh, 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 consultants or real estate buyers should be looking at to invest in. So trust this, this would really, really work well. So container house should be something every buyer or every investor right here in Lagos should be looking at because in the wild, it's really going to pay away. If you know how much block is, you will try container house, trust me. Now we're gonna to move to the eighth one, which is the mud house. Mud house is more common right in the rural area. It's still very, very much available in Nigeria, but I know a lot of people are switching from mud house into block house, which is fine. So we're gonna move right to the ninth one. So the type of property you can buy, I've mentioned from one to eight, and I'm gonna give you the last two. Now for the ninth one, you can still find this in some slums. A lot of people still live in wooden houses and in areas like Makoko in Lagos, you get wooden houses and people are living right there. Now, I also give you the last one, which is face me, I face you. <laughs> and the another, another name they use for it is face me, I slap you. Now, this is like a public house built. Uh, it's cheaper because everyone needs to use the same toilet and uh, bathroom and while building it, it all depends on the location. You can buy a house like in Lekki and you build face me and slap you, it won't work. You won't even like the prices that you get from that particular location. So it all depends on your pocket, it also depends on your budget, it also depends on your taste, and it also depends on the kind of investment you want. There are some that the moment you invest in a particular location, you start seeing the reward is start seeing the return on your investment faster than some areas so you get to understand all of this but if you know you still have more types of houses i did not list in this video please drop them below i want to hear from you i want to know what you think i want to get your own ideas also that you think are the type of houses we can introduce in nigeria that is not listed it is important we have all of this for it to work for us in nigeria Thank you all for watching this clip and if you know it has helped you, please, please, please do a thumbs up by liking this video and drop your comment below, drop your suggestions and follow us up on all of our social media platforms. Remember, we usually do our posts every Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays and we have a lot of more videos we are playing. I made a video on how to build a house in Nigeria. Please watch that video because it has helped a lot of people and I'm sure it will still help you too. And we have a lot of more videos if you have playlist. If you want to watch our videos on playlist, please go through at our TV on YouTube. Go through the playlist. You will see HTH and Perry Limited. You can watch a lot of more videos on our properties. If you want to know more about property in Nigeria, you want to buy properties within Nigeria, then you need to watch this. It will really help you. And I also drop my contacts below this video because I'm very much available for you. So you can contact me. Ask me any question you want to know about real estate in Nigeria and I'll be willing to give you all in details. This is what I do for my client. I help them sort for an apartment or a land they want to buy and I make sure they get a very good one, a negotiable one and a genuine one. In fact, I have clients who I've done deals with below their budget and they were happy. They left happy. So I can as well do that for you. If you have other people who really want to get a property within Nigeria, they don't know where and who to meet, then you need to introduce HTH and Pro Limited to them. Trust me, it's going to be a very good one for you. Thank you all and remain blessed.
I remain an Wakaman real estate expert. I can help you get the kind of property you need. Thank you and take care. Bye bye.